if you know you are coming to the UK anytime, whenever, as a student, these few things I'm going to be talking to you about today, do not come without doing them. Number six. So this is for the professional that are watching this. If you're a professional and you're coming to the UK, probably as a dependent. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes guys, you know, I'm back again. I have missed you all so much. And when I say I miss you, you know, it's been a while I sat down like this to give out information. And you know when you see me sitting down like this, I'm about to dig it out hot, 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 hot. Yes guys, so today I'm going to be giving you answers to those questions about coming to the UK, what you need to do before you come, things you need to put in place to make sure that your settling in here is going to be as easy as possible. Possible. My name remains Bola Olabadi and I share videos of my lifestyle here in the UK, finance and everything fun. See ya. Yeah, if you have not subscribed to my channel, to be honest, I don't know what you're waiting for. Like since the beginning of the video till now, I have been smiling at you, giving you all the nice sweet things. I don't know, please just subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, to be honest, I do not know what to give you guys. What my love! I love you guys so much for always returning to my channel, for watching my videos, for liking, for commenting. You guys are the MVP. Like, I love you, love, love, love. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to watch my hats. Please help me make some money here to upgrade my video quality, to get all of the equipment that I need. Yes, guys. So, let's get to the video. Guys, so, hmm. Everybody's come to the UK this season like it's, it's more like a pandemic of studying in the UK So a lot of people are coming to the UK to study and some of them, you know I've realized that some people when they are coming they don't really know things to do and how to settle down things to put in place Before they come to the UK. So by myself through my experience I have been able to put some things together that you need to make sure that you have done before you come to the UK so number one make sure you are fit at least 50 percent of your school fees yes yes i know some people say oh but my school will need just at 25 percent for a deposit and then after you can keep on paying those things listen guys i know that it might sound easy from some people but it is not as easy as it seems i am here in the uk i am working i am schooling and i have realized that although you may be able to achieve some certain amount of money but trying to um finish up your school fees with the work you're doing is the, the chances are very little make sure you have paid at least 50 percent of your school fees so that when you're coming to the uk and when you're working what you're targeting is 50 percent so let me give you guys a little breakdown here let's say your school fees is fourteen thousand pounds and before you arrive in the uk you have paid seven thousand pounds out of your school fees and all you need to now work for all you need to now also for is seven thousand pounds which is something that is achievable if you are subjected to you know working in the summer and you have you're, you're working at a place where they are paying you a good rate that is really achievable compared to just paying three thousand five hundred pounds and then you're coming to the uk and you're trying to also for ten thousand five guys uh, it's achievable but it's really really difficult and so as not to get expelled from your school because this thing is real when you do not pay your school fees they're going to threaten you guys they'll threaten you you have to pay so please so as to avoid all of those things please make sure that you're paid 50 percent of your school fees before coming to the uk number two is please come with some cash See, yeah, there's this thing people say when you are coming to the UK that ah, there's plenty work in UK. I share porn UK, but you right See, that is what people told me. <laughs> I share porn UK, but you what they buy. When you get to the UK like this, you just you'll be seeing jobs left and right. See, it is not a lie. Yeah, it is not a lie. But I do not I don't see how logical it is that you get into somewhere and then the next day you're going to, you're going to get a job. Like even if the job is like it's so luxurious like they are coming rushing left and right it's not it's not possible i mean you still need to settle down you need to like settle in your apartment you need to like get some like things you need to settle like get into the system then ah what do you want okay let your brain reset from where you're <laughs> coming from yeah before you now say you start looking for a job when you now start looking for this job, guys, when you now start looking for this job, it's not that easy because so you will get a lot of rejections. I don't know if you have seen uh, one of my videos where I spoke about how I got a job and then how I got a lot of rejections. You're going to get a lot of rejections. So to keep yourself before you get a job, please come with some funds. Personally, um, I and my husband, we came with um, £1,500 just to make sure that we settle down. 
and this money kept us for like six weeks this 1500 kept us for like six weeks this includes pay, buying a lot of things in the house because when you come to a new house you just find a bed you find normal stuff and then you need to get some other things but you're, you're setting up a new home here in the uk you cannot come in distance from nigeria so you have to come here and then get all of these things food and everything so yeah you have to come with some funds with you don't just come empty and then hoping that you're going to get your job immediately you land it's possible and then it's not possible so please let us be very wise so you're not you're not yet stranded and you're not asking people from nigeria to send you money from home it is not it is not nice you're inconveniencing them please try and come over with some money even my younger sister when she was coming she came with 500 pounds just to make sure that before she gets a job she has something tangible to work with so if you're coming as an individual 500 pounds is okay for you to survive in a place like leicester because some other places are more expensive than where i am so for where i am 500 pounds is going to sustain you for like at least one month in the uk before you get a job and then if you are two please come with 1000 to 1500 pounds to make sure that you, it helps you settle please don't come here without any funds at all please don't come here without any funds at all i know why i'm saying this because myself and my husband were here and then for one month we did not get any job like it was there were jobs but there were more people for the jobs available and then the the jobs that i could even qualify for they wanted full-timers and then I cannot work full time because I'm a student and I just have 20 hours to work every week. So I couldn't do all of those. So you just have to come here prepared. Number three, do not come into the UK without getting your apartment ready. Hmm. A lot of people will say, and ah, when you get to the UK, a lot of apartments. Or, oh, I have a family member I'm going to go and scout with. Listen, guys. In as much as your family members are really nice to you and then they care about you, not everybody is comfortable with you staying in their house for so long. They can accommodate you for two days, three days, even a week or two weeks, but staying a month, two months is not nice. So please, I'm going to advocate that you try and get an apartment before coming down to the UK. If you watch my house tour from the previous house, because, okay, before I go into that, I know you guys have seen a different background now. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, still tell you guys the gist about this different background. But for now, please go back to my accommodation tour. You're going to see um, a lot of advice on how to get an apartment before coming down to the UK. The sites that are useful to you, you're going to see them. I'm going to put the link in the description box just in case you don't find it. Oh my, it's not possible. Just in case, I'm going to put it in the description box below. So please go and watch that video to get a hang of how to get an apartment here in the UK. It's it's easy to get an apartment guys it's easy to get an apartment if you start looking early enough don't say ah you are coming to the uk in september ending and then you start looking for your apartment a month before that's that's not nice if you're looking for a house start looking for it like three months before you actually even apply for your visa just have the faith that everything is going to come out and then start looking out for houses looking for the areas you want to stay looking at your budget looking at the amenities so by the time it is time for you to like put your plans together you already know the kind of house you are looking at and then you just book for it and it stays there and it waits for you and then you pay for it and as you are coming to the uk you enter into your house you're not stressing anybody you have peace of mind so yes don't come to the uk without booking an apartment number four don't come to the uk without fixing your cv fix your cv the standard cv here in the uk is a two-page cv that contains only vital information they don't want to see your hobby they don't want to see your date of birth and all those things that are not needed in a cv so if you know that you're coming to the uk and you're coming to look for a job please set your cv and set your cover letter cover letter is very important here in the uk guys it's very very important so please find somebody to construct a proper cover letter for you and then when you're applying for these jobs you streamline and you refine that cover letter to suit the job you're looking for <laughs> yes and then you also make sure that your, your cv is up to date you have all your informations correct the address you're going to be at put it there your phone number put it there and all of that all of that so in all of my english i've been speaking things please don't come to the uk without doing your cv or do your cv so you can start applying for jobs <laughs> okay you know what i mean guys so please make sure you, you fix your cv so that when you are when you come here you are not thinking i'm getting scared of her they say standard uk cv i don't have one you don't start panicking to create one so create one before you come these things are very available online so you don't even need to stress search for it online and do what you have to do so you can come here get a job seamlessly five get familiar with job sites 
this is a prerequisite of the previous one as i you know when you're setting your cv is because of a reason you're looking for a job so please get familiar with job sites like indeed and total jobs these are very important websites for you to you know to understand and know how to go about them it's very easy just indeed uk total jobs uk when you get here these are the places that you get to get jobs at another thing eh, this is a tip out of things you need to do before you come to the uk when you come to the uk here you have to also look for agencies agencies that helps students like us get jobs in different areas there are agencies for labor jobs there are agencies for manufacturing jobs there are agencies for um, events agencies for care homes so whatever you want to do so try and google online search for agencies in the area which you're going to school and then you see what you it takes to apply there so just get familiar with all of these things so that you don't come here and you don't have any information things to work with also something that helped me to understand all of these things is by talking to people when you also come here just make sure that you try and speak to people ask questions get information about how they did yes how they settled down how they got jobs so don't don't, don't be scared to do all of these things before you arrive it's very important i'm very sick so this is for the professionals that are watching this if you're a professional and you're coming to the uk probably as a dependent somebody like my husband yeah please make sure you do your NARIC evaluation so this is something that evaluates your nigerian result or your university results wherever you are from it translates your university result to a uk standard result and this is something that you can use in applying for jobs for my husband is an engineer and for him to get a job in this line if they ask for his NARIC evaluation and all of that so you have to just make sure you convert your certificate to a uk standard certificate me now i don't need to do that because i'm a student when i graduate i'm graduating from their school so i'm going to collect their certificate so i don't need that but for somebody like my dependent my husband he has to do the NARIC evaluation thing is so that they understand oh what he has done in his country is the same thing as this degree here in the, in the country so yes guys these are the six things you need to do before coming to the uk do not i repeat do not come to the uk without doing these six things guys they are very very important they are going to help you settle down seamlessly into the new life you are coming to live in guys it is fun here in the uk it is amazing and i don't want anybody to come here and you know not have an understanding of what you are doing so please just to make sure that you settle well make sure you do all of these things before coming into the uk so i have come to the end of this video thank you so much for coming i hope you have learned one or two things i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to like this video subscribe share with your friends anybody who is interested in this information please share with them and please always return to watch my videos love you so much and i'll see you in my next video